going on, niggas? What's going on, niggas? Y'all boys good? It's a me, your boy. Yeah, I'm so yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me. What's going on with you? What do you mean? What's going on with me? I'm perfectly fine. We going back to regular streams though. I'll do. You know, my regular streams aren't going anywhere. Everybody acting like OnlyFans is gonna be the only time I stream. I mean, they're. Nigga, I never said I was gonna and gonna end my big streams. Like, of course I'm gonna still do big streams on TR1 Iceman and shit like that. Like, that's that's my bread and butter, bro. How am I not gonna do that? I just want to do smaller ones on here. But sometimes niggas don't un niggas don't read. Niggas don't they don't understand. Will you stream the E3 and the direct stuff on OnlyFans or only on um on YouTube, dude? Of course I'm only gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do all the big stuff still the way that I normally do it. The big stuff that I, I I naturally like none of that's changing at all. I'm just gonna make more I'm gonna be doing way more frequent smaller streams on OnlyFans because I like having a small audience. How's your door? Still busted wide the fuck open. Are you gonna tell about your time away from social media? Man, my time in the motherfucking mental ward, bro, it's fucking annoying. Do you know how annoying it is being a mentally sane nigga inside of a mental ward? How was the hospital? Absolutely atrocious, man. You can't eat what you want. Etika, are you sane now? Nigga, I've never been mentally sane, nigga. I've always been tweaked from the very beginning. Anybody who's surprised by this shit, you're new niggas. Nigga, you ate raw eggs? Yeah, raw eggs are really fucking good for you. As long as you get them pasteurized so that way you don't get salmonella. Okay, so I see there's still a couple of people that are freaking the fuck out inside of the chat. And uh, dude, somebody here is asking me to apologize. I, I don't think there's... Well, besides the suicidal tweet thing, which was uh, like... I, I explained why that was something that I need to apologize for because... Using metaphors of life and death like the way I had been, it sometimes made people think that I was suicidal. So I, I apologize for that. And there's absolutely nothing else that I'm apologizing for. I mean, what the fuck need is there? If you if you think if you think I still need to give an apology at this point, then I'm sorry, bro, but you're not gonna get it. And you're not in the right place for it either, nigga. I, I already made a policy at this point where it's like I'm no longer fucking with the bullshit, man. I can't what about saying F the Jews? I say F everybody. I say F everybody. It's like South Park over here. Everybody can catch shit. I was throwing shit in everyone's fucking faces, man. That, that's the way that, like, but if you weren't here from way back in the day, then you don't know that fact about me. Anyways, um, I'm, oh yeah, the NYPD should apologize for breaking my door. My shit is still open, man. Shoot. Why'd y'all have to send the SWAT team down here? I was just fine. <laughs> Dumbass, you punched a police officer. No, I didn't. Actually, okay, and I need to explain that too because here's the thing, right? When I get taken, when I got taken to that fucking mental ward, it's like I have no say of my own and everybody just sees the information. He punched me. He punched me. I didn't go out attacking fucking police officers. I wasn't out here like some motherfucking RoboCop coming out here looking, giving motherfuckers the business. No, he attacked me after I gave him the middle finger. Yeah, so that's what happened. I'm surprised. To be honest, I was surprised the motherfucker attacked me. I thought cops were supposed to be composed and you know kind of keep themselves all together and all that. I was I was amazed when he swung at me, and it was a really big swing. I was like, damn, nigga, the cop don't give a fuck out here. Why do you think you really think I would go around hitting cops, nigga? No, but the video the video was pretty damn bad though. You didn't really get to see too much detail in it. But yeah, that's why I'm that's why I'm here. If I went out attacking cops, I'd be in jail right now. I'd be in jail. I would be in jail for what is it when you attack an officer? Isn't there a name for that? No. He attacked me and then they were like, "Why were you giving the middle finger?" Why was I get why was I giving him the middle finger? I was giving everybody the middle finger. Because everybody wanted to motherfucking, because at that time, niggas wanted me to be all up on their Instagram. Because that because right now, I'm kind of a, a legend around here. Like, my whole my whole area knows who the fuck I am. Everybody's always outside. There's always people here cheering for me, calling my name. I'm literally like some fucking hood star. I don't, I'm not trying to, like, over-glorify it. But everyone around me here knows me. And the thing is... My PayPal card wasn't going through because it was getting consistent. It was getting overwhelmed with donations from people online. So I couldn't swipe my card to get any food. And I was fucking starving at the moment. But yet everybody wanted to take pictures with me and was like, oh, God, oh, God. so I was like, listen, man, y'all niggas, just help me out here. I need to eat something first. I don't have any energy. Let me get some food inside of me first and then I'll take your pictures. But the niggas didn't want to. So you know what? I, I was pissed off. I started giving everybody the motherfucking middle finger. I was like, no, no, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck 
fuck you, fuck you. And then the cop, he was looking at me like an asshole, and I was feeling like an asshole. So I went to the guy, I said, fuck you too. And then he punched me. <laughs> That's the, dude, he punched me. That's the craziest shit. I'm telling you, I'm not bullshit. That's actually what happened. I mean, I was there, I'll be, like, this is the first time you're hearing me tell the account, that's exactly what happened. The explanation for the whole God shit and the revolution, no, 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 it's true, I'm God and you're God. I keep on, you want me to keep saying the same thing over and over again, good God almighty, I'll say it. I am God and you are God too, you, we are all gods of our own universe. That's like a spiritual belief though, to be honest with you, not one that's all that crazy. You think I have a crazy belief thinking that I'm God and that you're God? You want to see what Scientology believes? I don't think you even want to step inside of that domain. So to be honest with you, you should be pretty damn happy that my spiritual belief is something that tame. Um, anyways, we are all equal God. Yeah, dude, God, yes. How many times do I have to explain it? Yes, we are all equal. I'm not better than you. Do you want me to say that? I am not better than you. We're all gods. Everybody, you're God. I'm God. He's God. He's God. He's God. Everybody is God in the stream. You are. Jonas is God. Uh, Ultra is God. Alphonse is God. Hamish is God. Radio is God. Joe is God. We're all one. We are all one. One universe. One God. One thing. This is like... It's, it's trying to repeat it though why does the message here's the thing that's annoying about being a content creator it's like i can say the same message and i can probably repeat it for the rest of my life and still the, the amount of people that needs to hear it won't hear it you know what i mean what about me saturn kick yes you're god too bro it's satanism it's it's a satanic belief no it's not it's not nothing satanic about it apologize for hitting the cop you criminal okay i know now you're just joking around with me uh, the Venus Project. Oh, that's like the, that's like a little project to see a different kind of a future that uses resources instead of the. Um, ugh, I'm tired right now, so I can't really fucking explain it. Venus Project is bullshit, though. Well, you can. It's not like I'm forcing it on anybody, nigga. It's just something I like. You don't have to like it. I don't care if you like it. <laughs> fuck you. I don't fuck. I don't give a fuck if you like it or not, nigga. I'm not forcing it on you. Relax. Any oh look at that though wait a second i'm pretty happy about this we just hit 300,000 followers again on twitter after i had to purge all the bullshit fucking trash ass followers that i had from before but you know i i, I knew it was gonna take a little while but hey that's not too bad to be honest with you 300k right back in the game <laughs> hey i'm happy oh and by the way all of you guys that wish me happy birthdays thank you thank you thank you i was in the mental ward for my birthday so it wasn't exactly the happiest moments but i mean i had a good time either way the people that were in there were pretty nice to me and the ladies they you know everybody in there likes me because i was the only normal person so they literally were sad when they saw me leave it's kind of funny how are you in the mental ward you're the only you're the only same person there that's nice to everybody and all the workers and they get sad when you have to leave but i have to leave because i'm not crazy <laughs> i can't stay here with you as much as you love having me around if don't you see the problem with that it, anyways, yeah, it, it was funny. They were like, oh, Eddie, did, did you do really gotta leave? And I'm like, yes, nigga, I gotta leave. <laughs> like, fuck my life. <sighs> but it was funny all on the same. You know, it was <laughs> I had a good time. Oh, man. Explain the Venus Project, Etika. The Venus Project, I mean, I don't have to explain it, but it's a project that they work on stuff for the future that I like. I like Jock Fresco. I like the ideas that they plan for the future of civilization, and I support them. I've been donating to them a little bit um, for the last few years now, actually. I love Jock Fresco. If you, wanna, if you really want to see somebody who's a true human engineer, somebody who really does see the future of humanity, he predicted the future on so many different things. Um, look him up. Unfortunately, I never, you know, unfortunately, I never got to meet the guy. I love the guy so much. I never got to meet him before he died. I always wanted to. I wanted to go down to Florida at one point to visit the dude, but yeah. You know what? I'll still support the motherfucker. I'll still be there for the project and all that, man. It's all good. It's not no cult, though. Everybody's thinking, oh, it's a cult. Erica has got a cult. This motherfucker, he's raising followers. He's going to destroy something. He's going he's gonna to fuck up. No, it's not a cult, you stupid ass. It's, it's, hu it's the future of human science and engineering towards the civilization and the plot develop. Uh, uh, 
I, I can't go on and on about it. It's something too complex for this live stream and stuff. It's never something that I wanted to talk about. And like I said in my 50 facts about me video, it's not something that I'm going to be talking about anytime soon. Like this is something when I'm older, when I'm like, you know, aged, like when I make in my forties or something. But right now, I'm just a wild nigga that wants to wild out on camera, man. You know, I'm 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 being a clown. This isn't Venus Project. This isn't the this, this I'm being a clown right now. This isn't the time for the Venus Project. This is the time for the fucking big tent. This is the time for the circus act, nigga. What do you think this is? Nice on your black beat, clock in my underwear. Put it for me on the right.